Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, Reading in the Dark. Uh, my name is Byron and I read sometimes. Uh, this is just a little update video. So, and this video should have been up today, but life happened, so it is up. <laughs> it's up today for you. But it was supposed to be up yesterday. Anyway, oh, my lights are dying. Par for the course. It is October 8th, 9th when you see this. And I wanted to do a little update video on what in the world is happening in the month of October. I published a video about my my goals for the month of October, and then so many things, so many things have happened <laughs> to change those plans. Um, they've changed like three times. So essentially, and I think I mentioned this um, in an earlier video, but my parents um, still live in California. They have a house. They've been trying to sell it because they're building a house here, because my whole family is moving to Central Florida, and it sold. So essentially, the deal all along has been that when my parents sell their house, I'm going to fly to California and then help them drive back. So that's something that was going to happen. <clears throat> now, originally, I posted that I was going to take part in Spookathon in October. It has since come to light that that is not happening. Spookathon does not exist this year because Kayla has chosen to take part in Fortnite Frights instead, which is her prerogative. But also... <laughs> Originally, I was going to be out of town for those exact dates anyway, which were on Little Book Owl's readathon calendar, by the way. The reason I thought Spookathon was happening, Little Book Owl publishes a readathon calendar every year. She keeps it up to date. And, well, I thought she did. And it had the dates. It was like the 19th through the 24th or 25th or whatever it was, Spookathon. So she must have, like, talked to her at some point earlier in the year and figured out, you know, when it was going to be and put it on there and she never took it down. So I said, well, I guess Spookathon is happening. Anyway, it's not. So, um, but I was gonna be in California and driving back during that exact space of time. And that all happened like maybe a day after I filmed or I published my video about my October goals or TBR. And so what I thought I would do is do a drive-a-thon during the week that I was driving, because I was going to be in a car by myself, and I was going to buy a bunch of audiobooks and listen to audiobooks and vlog um, daily. I was going to vlog the drive, like the terrain going by, and like me in the hotel, and like reading and talking about the books. And then, right as I was about to film one of these videos to be like, hey guys, here's what's happening in October, the sale fell through. So then I was like, oh, never. Never mind. So am I still doing what I was going to do? And that's when I realized that my my sort of TBR of what I was going to read during that week and some of the stuff I was going to do with the audiobooks actually did fit into the Fortnite Frights like prompts. Then <laughs> they sold the house again. <laughs> so and now it's happening again. So I am leaving town. Essentially and this time, because of reasons, because life is this way, I am going to leave town and I'm going to be gone longer than I was before because now my family is kind of stressed getting everything packed up and out of the house in time for closing. So I'm going to be leaving in about a week. I'm leaving on Friday, October 16th. I will be in California until they sell the house and have their closing on November 4th, I think. And then we will drive back. So I won't be back until like the 9th or 10th. So my reading goals for this month now are still very ambitious, but I'm just going to be in California for most of the month. Uh, what I'm going to read this month, I'm Still Here, Black Dignity and a World Made for Whiteness by Austin Channing Brown. What We Did by Christabel Kent. We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson. And I, I still want to try and read Binti Home and Binti the Night Masquerade parts two and three in that trilogy because I haven't gotten to them yet. A uh, short story by Susan Henderson called Motorhead that I mentioned before. Passing by Nella Larson. And then the week of the 18th through the 24th. Now I'll still be helping my parents pack at this point. I'm going to try and read all five of these. Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice. When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. Severance by Ling Ma. The Birds and Other Stories by Daphne du Maurier, whom, for whatever reason, I always thought... I never realized that was a woman. I always thought it was a man. I don't know why I thought someone named Daphne was a man. I guess I just thought it was like an old school Southern name or something. And then Queenie or Queenie by Candace Cardi Williams or Blackwater Rising by Attica Locke. 
I had Queenie on my list because I've just been wanting to read it for a long time, and it's orange. But Blackwater Rising is a thriller, so I might do that instead. And that's for that week before Halloween. And then I, I'm going to read Reconstructing Natalie and a big marathon on the 25th for Turning the Page on Cancer. Then I'm going to read Death in Her Hands by Otessa Moshfeg, which I have physically, but I also have on my Kindle, so I'll read it on my Kindle. And then I'm going to read Within These Walls by Annie Alborn for the end of the month. So those are all of the books that I wanted to read. I want to read in October, and I probably won't get to all of them. I don't know how busy or not busy we're going to be when I'm out in California. I'm going to be helping my parents pack everything up, like package things in boxes and wrap them carefully. So that's why I'm going back to California, and I'm going to be doing that for like two weeks. And I'm going to try and read all that stuff at night, and we'll see if it happens. Um, while I am gone, I am hoping to have lots of videos pre-filmed and ready to go that will be posted on this channel automatically, where I'll be seated here and it'll seem like I'm still at home, but I'm not. And then I think I'm going to do a vlog of my time away in two parts. I'm going to do part one that'll be like the first two weeks that I'm gone that'll include like me going out there and all that stuff and like, you know, it'll be reading will be a big part of it like I'll be reading at night and talking about what I'm reading but it will also be some like scenery and like show you around my parents house since they're not gonna live there anymore because it's really really cool it's like nestled in the woods it's very picturesque and then the second half will be some of that and then the drive back and that won't get posted until sometime in early November after we're back so it's gonna be crazy but that's what has become of October <laughs> And I'm gonna cut this video off here because we already talked about October. This is just a slight update and alteration to those plans. And I hope that it all works out according to plan. <laughs> so that's it. That's what this video is. It's just an update on October. I've been meaning to do this for a while, but it's probably good that I didn't since my plans have changed like three times. But this time it's really happening and I'm gonna miss Philip. He's gonna be in very good hands but I'm gonna miss him a lot. He's gonna be really mad at me when I get back. I'm also missing Halloween. Like, I'm not gonna be home for Halloween. And I'm missing the election. Like, I'm having to suddenly request a mail-in ballot and, like, pray that it gets here before my flight next Friday so that I can drop it off because I have to vote. I'm gonna be out of town during the election, so that's stressful, but I'm sure it's gonna be fine. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, which would be... I mean, I guess it's possible to enjoy a video like this, even though it's just kind of like, I don't know, not that interesting, then please feel free to hit that uh, like button and, uh, you know, give me a thumbs up. That helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And if you have not already done so, maybe consider subscribing to my channel. I'm posting videos like twice a week right now, which is pretty cool. Um, and until next time, I will be here <laughs> until I don't know what the next video that's coming on this channel is, but I will be sitting here in, in the next video that you see probably. So, yeah, I'll be here, um, possibly in California and secretly, but I'll be here, in the dark, reading.